Yo, reference scatters, once again, we are back. Listen, last time, I was a little... on it. What's the word? I wasn't... quite satisfied with our performance with the Master Battle setting, alright? So today, we're going about it the right way, with a good rain team that only has two Restricteds. It isn't just Unga Bunga legendary spamming only, alright? Listen, I fixed the rain team, it's goaded, it's fucking broken, it is awesome. And y'all don't even know how busted this team's gonna be. Does Kyle Graven have an item? Did I forget to give it the item? Okay, he's got one, he's got one, good. I was gonna scream if I forgot to give him a scarf. So our game plan's a little simple. Scarf Ogre, Soul Duladius, again. Arceus, but Ghost this time. Then new guys, such as Sash Jolteon and Band Quillfish. Then we got a returning Ludi, because why not? Basically, what's different this time is the Jolteon and the Quillfish taking over a Palkia and something else. A Deoxys. Yeah, those two. So, this team's a little sketchy, alright? I'm not too big on the whole Obama Snow thing here going on here. And I'm also not too thrilled on the Hail. So, I'm pretty sure Obama Snow is like guaranteed to be lead. And we already know that thing's slower than Kyogre, so. Rain, gonna be a minor problem here. So my game plan is a little simple. I'm gonna lead Arceus because it gives me a decent matchup for Frostlass. Uh, I fight someone else, right? Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of ice types. So Arceus, we're gonna use Latius. No, Latius is just gonna be switched out for Kyogre. I wanna bait ice moves. Let's how about we bait it into a guy who resists ice. Easy. And for last, I am going to say Quillfish because, uh, yeah, Latius just gets to sit in the back for a bit after I get rain up. And then I can blow up the Quillfish, and it will be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all don't seem to understand. I've been cooking, right? We got a Sun Team coming soon, which we'll also bring to us because it'd be funny. But, as for now, that'll be a while off. So, okay, Frostlass. Alright, huge. Frostlass lead is actually exactly what I want to see right here. Pretty much the one thing I want. Because that means it gets to die, which is huge. That's the important factor here. Then I bring in the Ogre Man. Game plan simple. I want my weather advantage. I want to completely destroy this person's team. End of story. That's it. There is nothing else to it. All right. You are being so toxic. Nice to see that the hail's gone though. So it's not as super duper evade everything, but of course it dodges Arceus's fucking attack. Cause why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Leech seed it missed two. Why? Okay. <coughs> Well, that's not really a sight that I like to see. Alright, game plan here is simple. Kill the Obama Snow with that. And, no, not Surf. I want to Water Spout this man. I want to drop a fatty Water Spout in this Frost Lass. Who I'm going to miss because fucking obviously, the one mom I'm trying to kill right now, I'm going to fucking miss because of course I'm not allowed to hit it. That would be a grave sin if I actually hit the mod I'm trying to take out right now. Because it's just going to sit here and spam evasion moves and just be a pain in the ass. But that's just how I was expecting today to go. How awesome. Alright, goodbye. It lived. It lived. This arc is terrible. This thing is awful. It does nothing. It does no damage. Bro, that flash cannon shouldn't be that weak. It's a fucking base 120 special attack of mine. Chill out. This is nonsense, man. Alright, but that gives me a, a chance to double down on the Frost last here. The important thing, because I don't want this thing just uh, dodging every attack and then me not be able to hit it the entire battle, because that'd be cringe. Like how Kyogre's not hitting it now! So glad to see him not attacking it. Lovely. Okay, we get this dumb bump snow off the screen. We get the bad audio out, but it's going to come back later anyway, since this course is going to keep doing this because it's cringe. Thank you, computer. But hey, look at that. A bomb snow goes bye-bye. And now Frostlash is just going to cheat. All right. I'm going to lose the entire battle right now because this thing is just not getting hit. I just need a dead so I can blow up the fucking Quillfish. It's not hard. Just hit it. This is bullshit, dude. Uh-oh. That is a Mon I would love to explode on, actually. It'd be a shame if I never actually had a chance to blow up on it, because the game simply will not provide me a chance to blow it up. Oh, hey, look, I'm hitting the Frostlass. Cool. It's 
to die at least. Thank goodness. All right. That is huge. Leech Seed might have taken away some Kyogre's health, but obviously it was not even close to enough. Goodbye, Articuno. You hopefully died to this, I hope. Okay, good, good, good. Just making sure I wasn't too positive, all right? Because let's be real, after Flash Cannon barely did anything to the Obama Snow, might as well be prepared, yeah? All right, last Mon is up, and it is a Wall Rain that I'm not even going to blow up on. Fun. Dude, that's so cringe. I wanted the Wall Rain for a reason. Not the Wall Rain, the Quill... I might as well bring Quillfish now, right? I already won. <laughs> might as well take the Switch while Kyogre's not getting anything done anyways. Is that means... Oh. Okay. Arceus is gonna thunder, doesn't kill, obviously. Every single mod here apparently has perfect IVs and the most perfectly crafted nature of all time to avoid instantly dying to everything I throw at him. But it's fine. Also, Harrow, weird champ. Okay, why is it lefties? It's kind of bad for doubles. Wouldn't you say, my friend? Anyways, we get to do some funny strats this time. Goodbye, my friend. Get out of here. So, with my team building, Arceus is, like, Quillfish and Arceus Ghost are, like, supposed to be this little duo. Arceus is specifically a ghost type, so Quillfish can blow up in, in, in its face, right? Turn one, I get the switch out, and after I switch out, I get to hit nothing for my part, uh, my Quillfish gets to blow up on nothing? Insane. Diabolical, if you will. Anyways, um, watch the skills of a veteran at work. I agree, totally. I definitely did not choose that text, but why not? Why, sure, why not? Fucking go for it, dude. All right, that's one battle down. That is one out of the way. Sandstorm team's next. This one is fucking cringe. That is all I remember. So I think the plan is simple, okay? I want to lead Kyogre, but I really just can't. I, don't, I mean, the only way I'm getting damage is by leading Kyogre, though, unironically, right? Well, ironically. I think just leading Kyogre Latius and just specsing everything is probably the proper play. Uh, is that the safest play, though? That's definitely not the safest lead. Safest lead's, like, go Quillfish plus, like, I don't fucking know. Who baits damage? I guess Jolteon. This thing is not very good. It's Sash, Protect, Helping Hand, Thunder. Actually, I get to say that for one. No, never mind. <laughs> yeah, actually, no, that's good bait. Yeah, wait, no. I don't even know. Okay. <coughs> At that point, though, I might as well just not lead Jolteon and bring in the Arceus lead. Yes! And then we... What do you have again? Psychic Thunder Deep Pulse. Don't think Latius is going to be that helpful. Does somebody have Ice Beam? No! It's kind of ass, I'm not going to lie. I've got to take Ludi anyways. Alright. This isn't quite the safest lead I've ever had in my life. Especially depending on what they lead. But if their team is a very slow lead, that means Quillfish gets to put in some work. Alright, that's the important thing here. I need Quillfish putting in the work. Alright, Titar, Gliscor. Alright, so I'm actually not going to blow up the Quillfish this turn. And instead, I don't think Swift Swim activates this turn, actually. I don't think it does. So I'm going to do this. I'm giving myself rain. I'm going to destroy this Gliscor turn one. Kyogre's going to take a lot of damage, but it's fine. It's just a fucking T-Tar. What's the worst that'll happen? Rain's on the field. It's protecting. Good. Earthquake me now, bitch. See what happens. Look at the fucking Quillfish going unga bunga at you, alright? Get this Gliscor off my screen. Out of here. So obviously this is why Quillfish has more than one attack. Just in case I need to not explode with it. And let him do other banded attacks. Lovely. It just goes crazy, man. Quillfish is broken. Alright. Almost. Uh-oh. But it's fine. You know why that's okay? I got a Thunder Kyogre on my side. Swift Swim's a problem, but... Hey, you know what? Let's just not worry about it! You know, it might be Swift Swim. I actually don't know if it is. I wouldn't expect it to be because it's a Sandstorm team, but you never really know. Can't really be too safe for that. 
All right, we're thundering for the kill. All right, good, good, good. Dude, Quillfish is just eating up this entire battle right now. It's not even fair. This is not even a fair fight. Like, it's not like, oh, Sand's just naturally not that strong against Waters. No, no, no. Quillfish is just going fucking brain dead on him, dude. That's the important part here. And goodbye, my friend. Get the hell out of here as well. Bye-bye. Okay, there we go. Coughing again and hitting the unmute button immediately afterwards. Fun. So fast that you can probably hear it again. Awesome. But like that, ladies and gentlemen. Both of the weather teams go bye-bye. So what I'm worried about now is the Trick Room team up next. Blocking us off from the final fight. As y'all may know, this Trick Room fight has a Parasect on it. And if I let that thing set up and ruin my Kyogre because it's the perfect Kyogre answer, I'm going to have a problem. I am going to have an issue. So I actually think the plan is pretty simple. I always leave Kyogre. Always. Because, you know, I can instantly kill the Rhyperior Marowak. I think I leave Jolteon in case the Slow Twins come out, which they probably should because it's a fucking Trick Room team. Duh. Quillfish to explode with, obviously. I just want to blow up and get it out of the way. And then, last time I had Latias, which was pretty good. Arceus did well here as well. It's because, like, eh, it's fine. No, oh, Latias ain't coming, alright? It doesn't have water moves. It does not have what I am actually cooking up right now. It is the exact opposite of what I'm looking for. Oh, honestly. Alright. Depending on the lead here, the plan should be pretty freaking simple. The simplest of simplest plans that you have ever seen in your entire lifetime. The game plan is obvious. Okay, Marowak. Cool, I'm blowing that up. I am blowing that man up with Water Spout. This motherfucker ain't even getting Trick Room up. Oh. Actually, this thing's Lightning Rod, right? I got a helping hand. Alright. Hey, Kyogre, you want to crit this thing real quick? <laughs> It's a good thing I remember Lightning Rod's an ability this thing gets. This could have been way more dangerous of a lead if I didn't remember that immediately. Alright. Actually? Oh, that's still a lot. Having Jolteon to lead's pretty good. Specifically for baiting Rhyperior or whatever is next into an attack. Kinda sketchy. But we can get by with this. This isn't an instant loss for them setting up Trick Room, right? It's not instant, but it could be bad. So Jolteon's got Protect and a Focus Dash, right? Depending. Okay, Lax, I don't like that. I'm just going to Water Spout with Kyogre again and just simply protect this turn. See what happens. That is the game plan. I don't see Kyogre dying this turn. Jolteon definitely sees a kill, uh, kill from Snorlax, right? No way it doesn't. Oh, you're being a pussy, dude. Stop healing. You're being cringe. All right, Kyogre, buddy. Return. Good. Okay. Full force water spout right now. Simple plan. How much does that do? Doesn't do shit. Alright, now my plan's even simpler. My plan's actually gonna be a little bit better than last time. So, the game plan's simple now. I'm gonna water spout plus the thunder. So, I think Slowbro is probably just gonna heal again. Yeah, okay, that's why I'm thundering. Snorlax can never kill Jolteon because of Sash. So I'm just getting a fat, juicy thunder off of the slope, bro. Insane. Insane how sweaty this team is. It is so sweaty. It's not nearly as uh, luck reliant as, um, what is it? My team from last time where I was like, hey, I'm just going to redirect everything with Deoxys being frail as shit. <laughs> but I got lucky because Jolteon basically does the same job. Except not as well because De Deoxys dies to basically everything, right? Unless you're looking specifically in Ubers, it's like, hey, Fortress Rapid Spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just switch in on that real quick. Alright, what's the game plan? Sloking, buddy! Wait. Actually, it's not a bad time to switch out. Let's bring in the Quill Man! Yes! So I actually just want to sit here and protect this turn, but I really don't care enough to do that. I was going to protect, Slow King couldn't do shit to uh, Jolteon then, but it's fine, Trick Room's better run out anyways. Arceus is on the field, the Exploding Man that's going to one-shot the Slow King's coming out. It's not even fair, man. It's not even close. Observe, wait. 
Brian. Yikes. That is an ass attack. Why do you have that? So obviously this, the opponent threw when they chose Marowak over the other guy. I'm not waterfalling this thing. I am never going to waterfall. So I don't know how good this uh, Quillfish's friendship actually is. I think it's actually pretty shit and low. So um, the fact that it has a uh, has returned there is honestly kind of irrelevant. Right, I'm slower, huh? It's fine. It's fine. Quillfish doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I didn't have that extra turn like I, I was hoping for. As you know, Trick Room lasts five turns instead of four like fucking Tailwind. But it's fine. I already won this a mile away. I'm just getting my one hit KO, alright? Just going for that Oko. Which means next, we got our fucking fun team coming up, boys. Y'all like fighting a rain team with a rain team? As we know, those are the ultimate counters for rain teams. It is another rain team. That is the most important part here. And y'all ain't ready for what kind of disgusting shit I'm about to pull out. Y'all ain't even ready for my disgusting turn one. So, as y'all know, he's guaranteed to take Palkia last. And guaranteed Kyogre lead. As I went over last time. A fucking year ago at this point, good god. So, the plan is simple. I'm not leading Ludi. In fact, I'm leading Quillfish this turn. I'm gonna bring Jolteon as well. I'm taking Kyogre in the back, and I'm bringing Arceus. I did not grab Gladius a single time this whole run, or Ludi. Wow. This one core is just too dis just not even fair. It's legitimately not even fair how just un like broken this fucking lead core is. So depending on the lead, I could actually... Oh, it's only if Lugia comes out, things could go differently because it's bulky. Alright, we got Kyogre Latios. Perfect. Alright. That Latios is perfect to take out this turn. I was genuinely worried that Mewtwo might actually outspeed Quillfish in rain. But luckily for me, that's not a concern at all. Alright, easy. Game plan simple. Turn one, blow up, take two victims with me, and then laugh maniacally, alright? That is the simple plan here. Who needs a grass not damage rail? But yeah, damage range roll on Kyogre, yeah. Who needs it when you're guaranteed the cold explosion, right? Come on, don't be silly. This banded man's going fucking crazy right now. In fact, going ape shit, if you will. Get this Latios out of here, too. We don't need this thing on the field, either. It's kind of irrelevant. He's gonna ruin my plan, alright? By hitting Arceus hard, and I don't like it. It's cringe, okay? Now, simple. We're up 3-2. The greatest strategy I've ever had when playing the games ever, okay? Because when you lead like a go, alright? You simply have an advantage that the opponent just cannot come back from. Oh, what the fuck do I do about that? Okay. So I don't actually know what the Manaphy plan is. But we'll figure it out. I'm just going to repeat my plan from last time. Just double... I don't have to double thunder. I can just helping hand thunder. That'll work, actually. Who needs the double thunder when I can just do this and kill it? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't quite think Manaphy was coming. I was hoping for more for Lugia. Get this dumb shit off the screen, buddy. Get him out of here! Alright, now it's a 3v1. It doesn't really matter what Palkia does from this position, because, uh... It looks all too familiar if you ask me personally, alright? What, what does that even do, buddy? What does that do? That did, that, that did not even proc Sash. That is disgusting. How weak is this thing? It should have proc Sash at least. <laughs> this this Jolton got shit for special defense. Alright, we protect to make Palkia waste its turn. While I sit here and fish for crits or paras, not like it really matters because it's just Thunder Spam from here. In a way that's not even fair. Oh, that just does so much. It's not even okay. It's not. There we go. Nice fishing for paralysis, buddy. All right, now Jolteon gets to have a handful too. Jolteon gets to have its handful now. In case you guys were curious, I'm pretty sure this Jolteon was bred from a max speed IV Ditto, which I guaranteed bred over with a power ranklet, just to make sure it would outspeed everything possible. That was the important thing with the Shulteon here. Make sure everything cries and weeps when it absolutely gets fucking evaporated. Easy. And like that, we see a perfectly calculated battle like no one could ever stage. Insane. Insane! That is what I wanted last time. And it's not even fucking close. 
Nothing that could have gone, like, there was actually so little that could have gone wrong there. Genuinely. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have finished again. So next time we do this, it'll be with the Sun Team, and we will see some funnies. That's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.